Hi, it's Arit here from Esatino Media, helping you create profitable content. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about Jasper.ai. So let's talk about this tool. I've been using this program for about three months as my personal copywriting assistant. And if you don't know, Jasper.ai is a tool, a powerful tool that uses the power of artificial intelligence to write copy for you, write persuasive copy. And that could be for your landing pages, your blog posts, your email marketing, all that kind of stuff. And you can produce this copy in a fraction of the time. So as someone who produces content all the time, not just for myself and our business, but also for our clients, I'm gonna share with you what I like and what I don't like about this tool. So. Let's get into it. Okay, so what do I like about this tool? So I've mainly been using Jasper.ai to produce copy for email marketing, to produce email sequences uh, for my clients and again, for us as well. And it really allows me to pump out five times more of these email content in a fraction of the time. So I really love the time saving aspect of this tool, of course. And there's a ton of templates all ready to go in Jasper. So when I say templates, these aren't static templates that you just copy and paste and everybody's using the same templates. They're dynamic templates and there's templates for coming up with headlines, coming up with video titles, like I said, emails. Um, you have, you know, if you wanna do a paragraph, ask it to write you a paragraph on a certain topic. Uh, ask it to write you a bio, a bio on someone, or summarize a piece of content. I mean, I could go on and on. There's just so many uses for this tool. And how it works is that these are dynamic templates. So you input a certain amount of information and it will output full pieces of content for you. And you can ask it to provide either one piece of content or two or three, how many ever versions you like, and they will always be different. So let me give you an example. There's a template called the perfect headline. And I use this sometimes when I'm wanting to come up with subject titles for emails or a headline for a landing page. There are certain boxes that you need to fill in. So there's a description box where you just type in a few sentences about what this topic is about. There's a field for putting in your company name or the product name. There's a field for avatar information. So if you wanna tell Jasper who this headline is for, you know, are you talking to doctors? Are you talking to entrepreneurs? Are you talking to moms over the age of 40? You could tell it who your avatar or your ideal customer is. And you can also tell it what tone of voice you want this headline to be in. So do you wanna be informative? Do you wanna be witty? Do you wanna be you know, funny? Or you could even tell it to be in the voice of someone that you look up to. Like for example, do it in the voice of Tony Robbins or Gary Vee. So after putting in those outputs, it will produce the perfect headline for you. And you could again say, I want like, give me five versions of this and you can pick the best one. Aside from the templates that you can use, what I love most about Jasper is the chat feature. So this is this works like a chat function where you literally almost chat with Jasper and tell it to produce what you want. So I could write in there, write me a video script for a video on five tips for staying healthy in the summer. Or I could say, create me a course outline on a course on knitting for beginners or come up with video topics on this subject or give me a title for a podcast on this topic, like literally anything that you want it to write. And it will produce that for you. So I love this a little bit more than the templates because I could just sit there and, and ask it to give me whatever I want. I don't have to go search for the right templates or fill in all of those fields. There are some pros to using the templates, which I won't get into this video, but those are some of my favorite features of Jasper. Now, what don't I like about this tool? And I know some of you have this question, like is what it produces or the content that it produces even good? I think we're still in the early stages with this tool. I think that a lot of the content it produces is actually really good and usable, but personally, I find some of it to be a little bit generic and surface level. For someone who really values, you know, a brand voice in my content and having personality in the content that I write, Jasper doesn't know yet how to include that in. So it's a really good starting point to work with those 
you know, the full pieces of content that it produces, but you still need to kind of massage it a little bit more with your own voice, with your own personality, uh, and also, of course, fact check whatever it is that it's producing. Like you can tell it to write a full blog post on a topic. It will have an intro, the body, the outro, but of course you wanna make sure you still fact check everything. So it would be cool to see something like with this tool where you give it an idea of your brand and your voice and who you are and it includes that into the content that it produces but um, of course this is this is ai right this is machine learning the more that you feed it the more it learns more about what you like and what you don't like and when it produces content there's a little thumbs up or thumbs down on the pieces of content that it produces so the more feedback you give to jasper and say this isn't what i'm looking for the more it'll understand what you are looking for. And it's all about what information you feed into the tool and that's going to improve the outputs. It just takes a little bit more time to get what you want. I, I rarely put things into Jasper and use those outputs as is, meaning the content. I rarely use the content that it produces as is. I always have to work it a little bit more. And it's almost like, a titration process. But overall, this tool is really cool. I mean, it saves me a ton of time to get a blog post or an email written out first, and then I just need to put the finishing touches on it. So it is helpful, especially if you're someone who produces a ton of content online, or if you're producing content for your clients. So what do you guys think? Do you think you'd be using jasper.ai? Leave me a comment down in the video below and hit like on this video if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.